Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial we are going to answer a question. Actually it's more of a request than a question. So the request is how to use SQLite with WPF. And that's because so far we did all with console application. So in this tutorial we are going to create a new project in WPF and use SQLite with WPF. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer and actually, you know what, first, let's just, I'm going to comment this last method we did with our SQLite tutorial and uncomment to get people and run this, see where we left off. So we had SQLite database, we created SQLite database, and we have uh, a few records inside our database. So this is going to display get people, it's going to display the people that we have in our database. Okay. So that's our database, content of the database. And uh, now we are going to go to Solution Explorer, add a new project. You can definitely do this on a separate solution. I'm just, this is going to be a simple tutorial and um, I'm trying to keep everything related in the same solution. But it kind of slows down, but uh, again, feel free to create a new solution and do it, do the same thing on a new solution. Okay, so I'm gonna add a new project and this is going to be WPF.net click next I'm just gonna add the keyword SQLite to the beginning of this project and click create Okay, so we have our project. I'm going to make this startup project. And flip the panes as I normally do. And expand the XAML area. Okay. So, to start off, I think I'm going to add a list box actually split the column into a few pieces. Let's do two columns for now. I may add more, but so create that column definitions. Column definitions one, column definitions two. Okay, so we have two columns, one, two. And let's start with a list box. Let's add a list box and give it a name. Let's call this LBX people. Okay, let's close this out. All right, so we should have a list box right here. Okay, let's uh, build this and run it. Make sure it builds. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we have our list box right here. So far, so good. Um, okay, I want to actually add the startup position because I keep forgetting that Windows startups position, startup location, the center screen. All right, so let's go to our code behind. Here we have our default main window. All right, 
actually right now I don't need this we're going to first add the SQLite NuGet package so manage NuGet packages and let's go to browse Okay, I'm going to type in system data SQLite and take the first one, right? System data SQLite, let's install this package. Click OK. Accept. We are done. So let's go ahead and rebuild this. Build again. Okay, that's fine. Now I want to copy this couple of classes from our other tutorial. One of them is the SQLite config, yes. And data context.cs or we can create two new classes and copy the contents which are easier for you, you know what? let's I'm, I'm gonna drag and drop right here and let me double click on this class I'm just gonna change the namespace to SQLite WPF app app one right that's the project name all right I think that's W should be capital I'm not sure if it matters but let's make let's match it all right so we got error here that because we don't have the person class so let's bring in the person class and let's drag and drop again if you don't want to change the namespaces you can just um, create classes and copy the contents whichever works for you so let's go to the person class and let's change the namespace over here too Okay, now that should clear this error here, which it did. Let's bring in the SQLite config CS over. And let's change the namespace. Okay, let's build again. It looks like build went through. Let's run this once. Okay, no errors, no exceptions. So far, so good. Let's close this one out. Okay, so let's go back to our main window, CS. Um, all right. First, I'm going to add another class here. Go to Solution Explorer, add a new class. This is going to be our data class. So add new class. I'm 
I'm just gonna call this. Um, let's call this data club. Just data. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'm gonna make this public. Okay. Let's start with um, get people. So I'm gonna create a static. Let's call it actually public static. Uh, this is going to return a list of pe person. And let's call this get people. Okay. All right. Okay, um, let's create a um, variable of type of list of person. Okay, actually, new list of person. Let's create the object and then we are going to say similar to what we did in console application using var ctx equals new data context Okay, so we're going to leap, look through the database so for each var p in ctx dot people. I'm going to say list dot add p. Okay, and then we're going to return the list. Okay. All right. Once we have that, we're going to go back to our main window and create a property here. Let me get rid of this comment here and go into our main window class and let's create a property. So this is going to be list of person. Let's call this people. And this is going to we're going to set this to data dot get people. Okay. All right. Next, I'm gonna go to our main window dot saml and create a data context first. So data context. Actually, window dot data context. It's going to be rel binding relative resource relative resource space self. Okay. So basically, we are setting the data context to the code behind. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my list box, set the item source to people property. Okay. All right. So far, let's see what happens let's, once we build this. And run this. It looks like we got a problem. We got an exception. Okay, let's check the exception. So we are getting a uh, SQL logic error, no such table, person. Okay, let's find out why. Okay, let's go to our solution explorer. I think I forgot to bring the uh, database over to our project. So I'm gonna open the file explorer Go to bin folder. That's why we can't find the table. Uh, 
Okay, we don't have the DB file. Actually, it's right here. It created the table because it, we already have that set set up in the DB context. So if it doesn't, if it can't find the database, it's going to create here. So we have a database, but I think it's empty. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. Okay, oops. Did I delete it? I think I did. All right, and then I'm going to go back to our other projects and copy the database from there. Because we, right now we have an empty database, so Ooh. okay, this one here, the last one we used XML to SQLite. I mean, we can use any of this as long as they have the person object in there. And then you have to change the name here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to that folder. Um, WPF app bin debug and paste in here. Okay, now we should be okay, I think. Let's build this again. Maybe it'll populate. Three up to date. No, it didn't populate. Let's run this. Let's see what happens. And there we have it. So we've got four person objects. Okay, now we can do um, things like display item path, I mean display member path. You know what? Let's create an item template. Let's expand our list box and create template. Stack panel, no, data templates, stack panel, inside our stack panel, I'm going to add a couple of text blocks. This first one is going to be bound to ID, binding ID, and the second one is going to be bound to name. And I think I'm going to set the orientation horizontal. This way it displays side by side. Okay, let's try this again. Run this. All right, sweet. Looks like we need some space in there, but uh, other than that, we have all our data displayed in our list box. Okay. All right, if you want, we can add a data grid here as well. Mm, let's see. Let's add data grid to the second column data grid item source equals binding people and we need to place this inside grid dot column oops grid dot column one okay let's build this again And run it. Okay, so we have data grid displaying the content of our SQLite uh, database, and then we have a list box doing the same. Okay. 
All right, so that was briefly how to connect our WPF application to our SQLite database. So that's it for now. Um, any questions, comments, or requests, please drop in the comment section. Until the next one, see ya. Take it easy.